Okay, I'm back. All praise be to the most high. This is part three from the second video. Okay, um, now I was just reading Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many those are the other nations like with all flesh okay so that's that's another subject another you know teaching okay but i'm sticking with this christianity crap now we finna move on i'm gonna make sure okay let's move on to ezekiel uh we're gonna go to ezekiel chapter 37 <laughs> After Jeremiah, Ezekiel is after Jeremiah, Ezekiel 37, Ezekiel 37, okay, I'm in Ezekiel 37 and I'm going to start reading at um, verse 24, turn this over. And David, my servant, shall be king over them, and they all shall have one shepherd. Hear that? One shepherd. Did I hear Jesus? No. Okay. And David, my servant, shall be king over them, and they all shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgments and observe my statutes and do them. And they shall dwell in the, in the land. Excuse me. That I have given unto Jacob my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children, forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Most High God never said that He was going to send Jesus. He never said Jesus was the Son. He had help. He just said there is no Savior. I mean, that's what I heard. There's no Savior. There's no Jesus, okay? Um, yeah, we only have one shepherd, and it's not Jesus, Israel. I'm only talking to Israel and to you Christians, if you tune it in into this video. It's the truth. The truth. And... Our father is coming back angry. All right. Not Jesus. I'm talking about when I say our father, the most high God of Israel. Israel father, the most high God of Israel. Not Jesus. All right. So I'm going to keep it moving. I'm done with Ezekiel chapter 37. I read verse 24 and verse 25. So now... I'm going to jump down to Hosea. Two more scriptures and I'm done, y'all. Let's go to Hosea. Okay, I'm in Hosea, so... But I'm not... At okay, I'm at 11. So I'm going to read this little first. Part one, right? Okay. So I'm going to read this first. I'm in Hosea chapter 11. When Israel was a child, then I loved him and called my son out of Egypt. He didn't say he called Jesus out of Egypt. And when he's saying he called and called my son out of Egypt, he, he was not talking about Jesus. The most I got was not talking about Jesus. And I'm going to read it again. When Israel was a child, okay? When Israel was a child, then I loved him and called my son out of Egypt. Most High is talking about Israel, okay? Not Jesus, okay? No, Jesus ain't got nothing to do with it. None of the Old Testament. Not us, Israel. Jesus don't have nothing to do with us. So, 
let's stay in Hosea and let's go to Hosea 13 and read chapter 4. Yet I am the Lord, your God. From the land of Egypt. Did he say? Jesus is your God. No, that's not what... The Most High God just said Israel. No, he did not say that. Shame on you. For you even thinking that the Most High God sent Jesus. No, my father said, yet I am the Lord your God. From the land of Egypt and thou shalt know no God but me. For there is, again, again, no Savior beside me. See, the Most High God, whatever's in His will, His will be done. He already knew this, you know. It ain't like He didn't know. That's why He keep repeating it, and it's in His Word. Here, there, there, here, here. Because He already knew. He already knew this. And this is Hosea chapter 13, verse 4. If you didn't know, now you know. Facts. So, I'm going to stop right there. Yes. Yeah, so, this Christianity bull crap, you know, just not, it's not for us, Israel. I mean, like I said, if you're not listening, then fine, whatever Whatever's in the most high God will, his will be done, not ours. So, you know, we just need to be careful and pay attention to people that's trying to deceive us and to you all Hebrews out here that's lying to our people, to my Jesus is black. And y'all got me on that one though. A couple of years, I say about four years back, five years back. Y'all got me on that one. You know, but that was a lie. That's a lie. And y'all still teaching that bull crap. Y'all ain't nothing but false prophets along with a lot of other so-called these Hebrew people. It's no different, you know, from Christianity. Because they teaching just like they teach, you know, a lot of them. You know, so I'm just saying, Israel, follow the most high God word. That's important. You don't have to... You know, if the Most High leads you to a video to hear some truth, you go into this Bible, into the Old Testament, into the Most High God Word, and do your research. That's why I say write these verses, scriptures down. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm not. I'm doing. I'm just doing. Okay? I'm teaching. I'm not making no money. I'm not asking for donations. I don't want nothing from you. Please hearken unto the Most High God because he's not playing. That's why so many of us dying and stuff and a lot of us is just too late. But all praise be to the Most High God of Israel. And again, I want to thank my father for letting me be able to even come to you all and teach on this day. I think it's a Wednesday. And... You know, I'm going to come with more teachings. It's not going to be back to back, you know, but I am going to continue teaching. And like I said, I do other things as well. So I'm, I'll be a little busy and I have a family. So life. Okay, so all praise be to the most high. I thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I thank the most high God for you all, Israel. And hopefully, you know. You will get this word. If not, you know, whatever's in the most high will, his will be done. Shalom.